So, who has ever been asked what their favorite song was and they just couldn't decide because they love too many songs? <laughs> we all have that one song or songs and when they come on, we just can't help but turn it up loud and sing along. I've loved music since I was really young and though my taste in music has changed since then, I am still a crazy sane music lover as I was before. Um, so, music plays a big part on our emotions and our feelings, and we may, it may be more helpful than we think. Today I will cover how music began, how it affects us, and how it is important to us. Let's start off by learning a little history on music. Music has been around way longer than we think. Although we don't have the exact answer, some say that it's been around 3,000 years before the birth of Christ. Um, we can look in some religious, religious texts and see that music has been around for a really long time. In Psalms 92, it talks about giving thanks to the Lord, to the music of the lute and harp and the melody of the lyre. It also talks about praising him with tambourine and dance um, and praising him with string and pipe. So we can see that music has been along for a really long time. Which brings us to our first instrument. Um, it is suggested that it was a stick with a hollow stick with holes in it that they blow in it to make sound. If you really think about it, the first instrument was our bodies. We have our mouths, our feet, our hands, and we stomp, we clap, we whistle, and we make rhythm with our, our bodies. Um, there's also a musical timeline that brings us to where we are today with music. It starts off with the medieval mid middle ages, which began the musical notations in polyphony, which is harmony. And then we have our Renaissance time, which brought many changes in the way music was perceived and created. And then we have the Baroque time, which was when composers learned to experiment different styles, forms, and instruments. Then we have the classical, which is from the 1750s to the 1820s. And that was more of the, the piano was the primary instrument during that time. Then we have the romantic time, which was from 1800s to 1900s. Uh, they started expressing ideas in their music and telling stories through song, um, and it was more of a dramatic, a dramatic time period in music. Uh, then we have the 20th century. They started using technology to enhance their compositions, and they started exper experimenting more uh, different stuff and different styles and things. Um, now that we know a little more about their history, let's look at how it affects us. Music is in our everyday lives, so whether we realize it or not. Um, it has a huge effect on us emotionally and mentally. <clears throat> when we seem to be more happy, we tend to listen to more upbeat music. Um, and we tend to listen to more sad or angry music when we're sad and angry because we can relate to it. And it helps us cope with things when we can relate to something. Um, so Dr. Frank Lippmann, founder and director of an 1111 wellness center in New York, he refers to music as therapy. He recommends the musical timeouts to calm the brain and body with soothing sounds to slow heart rate and make it easier for patients to breathe. Music also improves our memory. Um, sounds help us keep hold our attention and um, helps us evoke our emotions and stimulate visual images. Lastly, let's focus on how it is important to us. Music is the key to creativity. It challenges us to listen and tell a story about what we are hearing. Uh, it requires our right brain usage, which um, exercises our creativity and also intellect. Music, is also, uh, music also makes learning more enjoyable. Um, songs like the alphabet we learn at a really young age and songs like songs to help us learn our multiplication table we retain the information quicker and easier because we have a song gets stuck in our head and it's easier to um, retain that information also music helps people concentrate easier for me when I'm doing my homework I like to have uh, music in my background so that I can focus on what I'm doing. It doesn't help with everyone. Sometimes they get distracted, but for me, it helps me concentrate. Um, <laughs> music also connects us. Uh, we all understand music, and whether you're playing music with a friend or a stranger, it helps you connect in a certain way, and you have that bond, 
Um, it also helps us communicate in different ways. So now let's wrap up. Music has had a great effect on our emotions and our feelings. We've talked about how music began, how it affects us, and how it is important to us. So if, if I'm saying that music has an effect on almost everyone, then ask yourself in what ways it has an effect on you. <laughs> Question. Yes. What made you want to choose music as your topic? Um, well, I just, I've always loved music, and I just realized that music is a part of my everyday life, so I might as well talk about it, and I feel like, <laughs> um, I feel like music is also a part of everyone else's lives, because music is all around us, and it's not just in where we are, it's all around the world, and we can help, like, it helps connect people in that way, so, yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Oh, what's your favorite band slash artist? Okay, see, that's hard for me because I love so many. <laughs> but right now, my favorite is Twenty One Pilots. I don't know if anyone's heard of them, but yeah, they're my favorite right now. I've been to a few of their concerts, and yeah, they're the best. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay,